Hello. So I'm on Hammersmith Broadway outside the ridiculously busy Hammersmith station, but that's the Hammersmith station for the district and the Piccadilly lines. What we want is over there, the Hammersmith station for the Circle and Hammersmith and City lines, as we do the end of the line. The original Hammersmith station here opened in 1864, and it was slightly north of the present day one, lasting four years until 1868 when the current day one was built. Across the road, the station that became the district line was built in 1874, that was joined by the Piccadilly line in 1906. There was also a fourth Hammersmith station, Grove Road, between 1877 and 1906, but we'll look at that later. And it's also worth noting that there was a fifth Hammersmith station called Hammersmith and Chiswick Station, but that was one mile to the west of Hammersmith and joined up with the railway at South Acton. Hammersmith was originally part of the Metropolitan Railway and was shown on the tube map in its purple colour for many years. The h &C name and pink colouring didn't arrive until July 1990, and that was then later joined by the Circle Line, to make it a non-circle, in December 2009. The first thing to do when you walk to the station is to look down and admire the chessboard-like pattern on the floor. It's rather splendid. Now, you can get a two-train shot here behind the buffers as well if you're patient and wait long enough, but you'll also have to squeeze in behind the signage that's in the way to get that perfectly balanced shot. More fun, I find, is if you go on tiptoes to look over the wall to get a rare view of the buffers on Platform 3. There's also the GWR marking in the benches here. There's this one on Platform 1, which looks splendid, but they're actually all over the station if you look closely enough. Now, Platform 3 is the place to spot the old signage for the Hammersmith Palais. This was an old dance hall and entertainment venue that once backed onto the station. It closed in 2007, but the signage, with its pre-decimal prices, is still clearly visible and just delightful. You can also see from this spot a fourth road, a track that is sometimes used alongside Platform 3 that appears to head out to, was that another entrance at Hammersmith Station? Well, yes, and actually, it's my absolute favourite thing to mention here. So let's go take a look. And it's right about here, that point right there, uh, is potentially my favourite thing about Hammersmith and the busy junction that's here. This is the covered up entrance to a pedestrian subway that went under the road here at Hammersmith Broadway, effectively linking the two stations together. But when the Piccadilly and District Line station was redeveloped with a shopping centre in the 1990s, it was filled in, never to be used again. The steps though here brought you up to what was a side entrance of Hammersmith Station. Today, no longer in use for the station, but you can still walk down it and see where it once was. There's actually old footage of Hammersmith and the Broadway Online where the subways are clearly visible. And also, there are these display images from the Transport Museum inside Hammersmith Station itself. Back in the station, to the end of Platform 1, to a footbridge that nobody ever uses. So the sign back there is perfectly correct, no exit. Uh, up these stairs onto this footbridge which is always quiet because nobody nobody ever comes here unless of course you're a driver and you're booking on in that space there that's where the drivers go and book on but this is a fabulous little footbridge because it just feels like a little hidden secret you know a place where no passengers normally come there's a really good view down onto the trains there's one pulling in just now so whilst i uh, just watch the trains go by we'll have a quick word from today's sponsor Yes, thanks to this video sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark have their servers in over 100 different countries, which allows you to switch your location virtually so that you can say, for example, get a better price when shopping for something online, which may be cheaper if bought from a different location. You'll probably also know that streaming services offer different content depending on your location around the world too. So with Surfshark, you can easily access all content from other locations around the world. Surfshark also encrypts your internet connection, which gives you an additional layer of protection online as it hides your digital identity. And, unlike other VPNs, Surfshark can be used across all platforms on an unlimited number of devices from just one account. So, if you want to secure your privacy, then use this special coupon code on screen now, which is linked in the description below. And there's no risk if you're just trying it out, as there's also a 30-day money-back guarantee. Okay, back to Hammersmith and to find one of its old lost stations. And now it's time to track down that mysterious Grove Road station. Just a short walk away. Yeah, if you come out of Hammersmith Station and turn right, walk just for a minute down this way, I'm coming up to this wall, which if you peer over, you can see an old railway viaduct. The location of Grove Road Station is long gone and the curve of track to it was also demolished. 
But the viaduct which led trains up to and down from the station is still there and you might have even rattled past it every day on the district of Piccadilly and never even noticed it. Peer over the wall and there it is, still there, slightly overgrown. Furthermore, if you come around the corner to Leemore Street, there's a point where you can look up and see the remnants more close up. And for the last thing, back in Hammersmith, if you're in the area, you should take a moment to track down the memorial bench with a plaque for legend Rick Mail. As the intro sequence to Bottom was filmed here in 1990 with him and Aid Edmondson sat on the bench, right at the time that Hammersmith Shopping Centre was being developed, which you can see in the intro sequence, complete with Piccadilly Line trains. And that, just about, wraps up Hammersmith. And that is the end of the Hammersmith and City, the end of the line here at Hammersmith. Uh, plenty more uh, episodes in the playlist. Go and watch to see all the episodes in the end of the line so far. And we've still got some more to do as well. Press subscribe. Thanks for watching.